Am I the asshole? For deciding to watch my grandson over my son's dogs. Family member told me to post here. My F52 husband M56 and I have two daughters. They are both great kids that are successful, accomplished and I couldn't be more proud, but lead very different lives. We all still live in the same area, the area I raised them at. One F25 travels extensively for work and has an on-again off-again boyfriend and the other F28 is married and has a three-month-old son. My daughter with the three-month-old works full-time and is going back to work as her maternity leave is ending. I work part-time but offered to watch my grandson at my house while they are at work. I'd quit my job, which I'm okay doing. We recently had a sit-down about watching him and my daughter and husband gave me a list of rules, one they stressed was no animals around the baby. That one was a bit of a surprise and conflicts with the needs of my other daughter. I asked why, they cited safety. I accepted them, because I want to watch my grandson and be involved in his life. My other daughter that travels for work has a pair of dogs. When she is out of town, she drops the dogs off with me. The dogs can be a bit rambunctious but otherwise behaved. She is usually gone three days at a time, usually midweek. So the time that I watch the dogs would conflict with my grandson. I've been watching her dogs for three years. I've informed her that I wanted to watch my grandson and because of that I can't watch the dogs as much anymore. Well she did not take that news well and flipped out. Says it isn't fair that she now has to find other means to take care of the dogs and it is financially affecting her. I told her I can stop by and check on them in the evenings but I won't have the time to properly take care of her dogs if they were left at her place. She hasn't spoken to me or her sister in the past week. So was I the asshole here? As it's amazing the amount of people that I know whose major plan with their pets is having their parents look after them lol. I feel like I read this, only from the child's parents perspective a couple of weeks ago. Anyways, not the asshole. First, if she is traveling that much with work, why does she have dogs? Second. And most importantly, you get to decide who, if any, you are going to look after. Your daughter dog mom had the luxury of you helping for three years, now she can find someone else to help out or pay for a sitter. You helped her out for three years but circumstances have changed and you no longer though you want to. You offer to stop by in the evenings to check on her dogs. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. First of all, any decision that you make is fine, even if you decided to not watch either of them. They're not entitled to you watching their kid pets. Besides that, I'd choose a human over a pet as well coming from a childless dog owner. You did a perfectly fine thing emo. Info why did you, in your title, call them your son's dogs? Not the asshole. But you'll get the dog lovers calling you one though. Not the asshole. Oof, the entitlement. Also, if she is working a job that she has to travel that much and they aren't paying her enough that she can't afford a doggy daycare. She needs to find a new job. Not the asshole. You've watched your daughter's dogs for free for three years which is an immense help. It's understandable that now you have a grandchild you want to prioritize spending time with them and helping your other daughter like you helped dog daughter out for years. Neither of them are entitled to your free care and you're allowed to choose what you want to do with the majority of your time. Not the asshole the dogs are not your responsibility and you have the right to stop watching them at any time for any reason. The sister probably believes that the dogs are too rambunctious to be around the child which is understandable. Many people view their dogs as well behaved but at the same time the people around them see them as a risk. Nta. Minimum she got 3 years free dog watching. Nta. She had 3 years of free dog care and she throws a tantrum about this. She chose to have the dogs when her job requires her to travel. That's her choice. Nta. You only have so much time and you've helped your eldest out for a long time. It's very reasonable for you to extend that same courtesy to your youngest now. Especially since it seems like you'll enjoy that job more. Even if your youngest didn't have the no animals rule. It's too much on you to do both jobs. Having spent time on the sub, most posters love pets and hate young kids. So opinions will be skewed by that bias. Your daughter's lifestyle is incompatible with pet ownership. It's shitty to be out of town half the week if you have pets or kids. Info. Did you agree on dog watching prior to your daughter getting the dogs? Or was the arrangement made later? In both cases she has to arrange a dog watcher ASAP, but if it was agreed before she got the dogs, I get how this is not pleasing. Nah. I can understand from all perspectives here. My mom once explained to me that she tries to help everyone, 
but sometimes she has to go where there is the most need, and right now you need to prioritize your grandchild. This doesn't absolve you from hurt feelings, however. In her decision, you have added stress to your other daughter, but she also needs to figure it out because she knows the requirements of her job. She's had free dog sitting for years now, now she needs to find a kennel or something to help her. Her feelings are also valid. Not the asshole. You've helped one daughter for three years already, now you're stepping up and helping your other daughter, and it also serves a purpose for you, you get to spend time with your grandchild. The needs of a three-month-old infant far outweigh and outnumber the needs of a couple of dogs. Is there a way you could have the dogs be in like, the garage or just outside while the grandson is there and not allowed in the house near the baby? Perhaps that would be a suitable compromise, but if that's not practical or possible then grandson trumps dogs for sure. Not the asshole. Not the asshole dogs are not people your daughter is acting like her dogs are the equivalent of a child your offer to check on them in the evenings is a perfectly reasonable compromise. She has also gotten three years of your help for free. If something were to happen to you tomorrow and left you unable to care for her dogs, what would she have done? Not the asshole because you can't drop a kid off at a kennel. Not the asshole. This is batshit crazy. Dog daughter can put her dogs into dog daycare. It's developmentally beneficial for the three-month-old to be in the care of an attentive grandmother rather than a daycare. Dogs are dogs, they can go to dog daycare if she needs them watched. Not the asshole. It's your time, and I assume you've never been paid for it. If she can't manage her dogs she shouldn't have dogs, or she can pay for them to be watched like literally everyone else does when they leave their dogs at home alone for multiple days. Not the asshole your time your choice. It does suck for your daughter that has the dogs but it really is your choice. Not the asshole you have been watching the dogs for three years. It's not at all prioritizing one daughter above the other, as many of the commenters are saying, that you now want to watch the baby. And either way one. You're not obligated neither to watch the dogs, nor take care of your grandson, but it's surely only your decision which one you'd like to do. 2. Let's stop pretending that dogs are the same as grandchildren. Sure, you might like the dogs, but they're not your pets, and you'll never be able to have the same kind of relationship with them as with your grandson. To baby trumps dogs. Daycare is expensive and sometimes abusive. You have been helping your other daughter for years, she should be more understanding but I'm guessing she thinks her dogs are just as important as her nephew. No dogs are just dogs. She can hire Rover, or Kennel then that's still a hell of a lot cheaper than daycare. I get her initial shock but she's being selfish and spoiled. Not the asshole. Things change. Just because you've done it for three years doesn't mean you have to do it forever. You decide how you spend your time. Your daughter should be grateful you did it this long. Not the asshole. Her dogs, her problem. Not the asshole. Spending time with your grandson is more important than watching dogs that are not yours. This same story got posted a couple weeks ago, didn't it? I'm going to go ahead and say not the asshole only because you are not obligated to do either one. Your daughters chose to have dogs or kids. Grandma is not responsible for either one of them, and any watching over them that you do for free is a major favor. Your daughters are ultimately responsible for finding childcare or finding dog care as needed for their jobs. Not the asshole. Not your dog's not your problem. Were your daughters close? It looks possible that the whole no animals around the child rule was imposed to make you choose between the two. Not the asshole. But shit like this is why I didn't use my mom for daycare even though she literally runs a home daycare and won't offer to be the main caretaker of my own grandkids unless it's an emergency. People get very entitled when it comes to others time, and you already paid your dues. Once you've even the score with your kid daughter, I'd rescind all future primary baby dog sitting offers and go enjoy your life. Nah. Both of your kids are free to find other arrangements but I also know how great it is to have a grandparent who can help with the kid and her pets so I don't hold judgment there. You are right to choose a baby over the dogs, baby kid is right to make rules for their child, dog kid is right to be annoyed but should probably not stay mad. I guess the only thing I'm more curious about is what kind of dogs they are? Like if they're rottweilers or pit bulls, I wouldn't want to introduce them to a new snack either. If it's pugs, then it seems silly to be so worked up about having them around. I don't think you're an ah but I see why your younger daughter is frustrated. She took the job because you agreed to watch the dogs and now you're going back on it, which you're allowed to do, but I can see how it being to satisfy her sister's needs being the sticking point. Honestly, I think the sister is the ah. Why won't she let her child around animals? 
If the dogs are poorly behaved then I get it, but from the post it doesn't sound like they are. Did your older daughter know that she was putting her sister in a difficult position by doing this? Not the asshole. He can choose and decide what he wants to do with his free time. Yes it is unfair to dog daughter to get such a short notice but her dogs are not his responsibility. Not the asshole. You're absolutely allowed to amend how you're helping your kid. The grandchild is the priority. She's had three years of help, that doesn't obligate you to continue doing it. Everyone saying white EA has a weird sense of your daughter's entitlement to your time. Also, taking care of dogs and an a small child would be exhausting, you're allowed to not overexert yourself. It's your time. Watch who you want. Not the asshole. The people mad on here are entitled brats. Not the asshole. You can decide whatever you want. If she cannot take care of her dogs is not your fault. You have been helpful for three years already. Also, a grandson is obviously more important than a dog go be a grandma, is okay. Not the asshole. Grandchild versus dogs, as a mom the child wins. She can drop her dogs at doggy daycare or kennel them since leaving a dogs alone is an abominable. You didn't mention the breed of the dogs, but if it's the rip your face off breed, that never did this answer is clear. Not the asshole. They're dogs that can be boarded and that'll make your grandkid safer. There's no way I'd let my baby around dogs again either after a bad experience at my parents' house when my daughter was a baby. It only takes a second for bad things to happen. Not the asshole. This is a no-brainer. I'm blown away about the year the asshole votes and feel a bit let down by humanity and intelligence in general. Rambunctious dogs newborn should not even be considered, let alone a debate. Plus why shouldn't OP have the opportunity to bond with her newest human family member? The other daughter had the help for three years, we don't even know if the new child care will be temporary, which it well may be. It certainly will be less than three years as kids start daycare from about age two. The dog mom can take several seats.